Talk about what it means being part of the Cardinal Herring, especially these days. You've obviously had Bob Gibson and Lou Brock die within the last few weeks. Just talk about what that means to you and what those players meant to you. Well, Lou Brock gave me my first pair of shoes. It, it didn't help me run any faster, but at least I had the shoes. Uh, Bob Gibson, I uh, sit and talk with him before. When I, when I got traded to Atlanta, he was a pitching coach in Atlanta for Joe Torrey. And I'd talk with Gibby once in a while, and I'd say, how do you, you know, how do you teach these kids how to pitch? He goes, well, I can't teach them to pitch like me. So he just, you know, he was, they were very positive, and, and the Cardinals have always taken care of their alumni. I actually, I got a phone call into him now. I want to get my cardboard cut out so I can, you know, carry it around with me. And if I'm somewhere having a social drink, you know, I can put my buddy there. Yeah. But uh, let's talk about what it means to you winning a World Series with the Cardinals in 1982 and just being up playing with the part of the Cardinal heritage and being able to contribute to that the way you did. Well, 82 was my dream season. I mean, that was, you know, we won a world championship. A lot of people have never had that opportunity, but not only did I have the opportunity, I got to do it in my, you know, in my hometown area. So uh, it was pretty special being part of that 82 team, especially after the 81 strike. where We kind of felt like we got shafted a little bit. So we were, we were on a mission from spring training of, of 82 to the end of the season and uh, won a world championship. So it was pretty special.